Whoa, hey. So, you wanna learn about fine hair? Like, how to style it to get volume, what products to use, how to use them correctly, certain things about haircuts that you should definitely not do, and certain things that you should do. Be your best friend, make your hair feel thicker and fuller and all that good stuff. Is that what you wanna learn? Of course you do, that's why you're here, right? Well, guess what? I'm gonna talk about all of that in this video. So, if that's what's important to you, you're not gonna wanna miss this. And I promise, that is gonna be way less annoying than this was. I'm annoyed. I'm, I'm actually annoyed by that. We'll see you, but pretty soon, a second. What's going on guys? Justin Hickox here. Hey, if you're brand new to the channel, thanks for hanging out. If you wanna learn tips, things that I've learned in my 25 years of doing hair to help make your hair a little bit easier, if that kind of stuff is important to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you get notified every Tuesday when I bring out a brand new video. Oh, and before we jump into this, I wanna ask a question for you guys. So eventually I wanna make some t-shirts, I wanna make some things that kind of group together the tribe, all of you folks that are spending your time hanging out with me and hanging out together in this community that we're creating. I would love to hear what would you, and I feel like this is such a dangerous question, but what would you name this community? I would love to know. Put that in the comments below, maybe I'll pick yours. Do you have any ideas? I need ideas. Okay. Fine hair. Okay, so tip number one, when you're trying to make fine hair look thicker and have more volume and all that great stuff, we need to pay attention to the length. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go short. I'm simply saying that there comes a length when you get to a point and everybody's hair, even if it's fine, all fine hair textures are gonna be a little bit different. So some of you are gonna have fine hair, but you may be able to get a little bit longer than others. But there will come a point where it just kind of stops being thick at the ends. Now, the biggest problem with this is as it starts to get to this point, it doesn't support any sort of the internal stuff, which I'll talk about in a minute, that we can do to create more volume and more shape and more overall appearance of density. So we wanna make sure that we pay attention to giving this a strong line for whatever length that is. It's better sometimes to give up that little bit of length. Yes, I know that it comes at the cost of feeling like you're losing some hair, but in reality, taking some of that length off will allow you so much more internally to create the illusion of so much more volume and so much more density and so much more shape that it's well worth the minor concern that this taking this length out would create. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the difference between what we've got now and I'm gonna show you just what happens when you take just the length up to where it's strong. Nothing else, no layering, just that length up. Okay, so we're back, and now you can see I took a little bit of that length up. I took it as short as I had to take it, leaving it as long as I could, but still made the ends look thick. So I, could, I took them to their shortest point, to the longest it could be and still be dense. But as you can see, just doing that little bit of length, yes, she lost some length, Okay, but it's a lot stronger at that baseline, which in turn makes it look and appear much more dense. And it's gonna allow us to now go in and do other things internally that are gonna allow us to create a lot more volume in the overall shape. Tip number two thing we wanna think about is for many people, especially if you have fine hair, especially if it's thinner fine hair, it is terrifying to think of layering. Maybe you've had a bad experience with layering in the past. Maybe you feel like, look, I can't afford to layer my hair because whenever I layer it, it feels like there's nothing. Well, there's two things going on. First of all, we have to ask ourselves, is it more important that when you pull it back, it feels dense? Or is it more important that it looks like you've got a lot of volume and control and density? If it's more important that it looks dense, then there is a way of layering your hair that is absolutely, to me, your best friend. What ends up happening, especially on fine hair, is because even if that length is shorter, say like a bob shape, these top layers being one length, it still means that this hair is long. And therefore, when that hair is long, it's still very heavy. So it's hard to get any volume that you can encourage in the very beginning when you're drying it or styling process, it's hard to get that volume to last. Having some of this hair up here layered so that it lightens it up is a huge benefit to the overall shape. Where you wanna be careful, you want this stuff, not entirely, in the front you want some layers, but back here, you essentially want this stuff to basically be one length. That's gonna allow you to keep strong lines at the bottom so your baseline looks dense, but it'll still allow you to actually layer this, have some movement, have some texture, have some shape, but still feel like you've got a strong line. Okay, so we're back, and now what I've done is I've layered her hair a bit, right? I've given her some face framing layers, 
I've given her some layers internally back here. And what it's done is it's allowing to have more lightness on this hair up here. So when you get in there, even when I've done nothing, I've got no products in it, we're still getting some volume and some movement out of her hair just because we've lightened that hair up a little bit. If you've got a solid foundation for volume, it's gonna be a million times easier for you to actually create volume when you style it. Okay, so one thing I always get asked is, what products do I like to create volume in fine hair? Here's the thing, I'm gonna run you through some products that I like to use. There are a lot of great products out there, so these aren't the only ones that will work. And I'm picking one of these specifically because it's a gel mousse, which is gonna be very similar to a lot of the products that you use at home or that you may have to create volume. So I wanna walk you through the process of how you apply it and all that stuff because it's gonna be very similar. You're just gonna change probably the amount of, of the product that you use depending on what you're using. First things first is you jump out of the shower and you towel out your hair. Now you'll notice on her hair right now, that's too wet. You can see that it's dripping wet. So we wanna make sure that we get that a little bit drier. If it's too damp, it's just gonna dilute the product and it's gonna make the product not function as well as we want it to function. If it's too dry, you'll actually find that the product doesn't dis distribute evenly. And we want it on all of the hair from roots to ends when we're talking about trying to create volume. So the first product I'm gonna use is this right here. It's called Fat Hair. And Fat Hair is my favorite product for creating volume. This I'm going to put in my hands and as this warms up, it's going to foam up a bit. But I'm gonna work this into her hair and I'm gonna work it starting at the top, right at the roots, and I'm gonna work it all the way through. Now, I again, I said I want it at the roots for root lift, right? But that's not what creates volume. Volume is created by bend throughout the hair. So we want this equally as well. We want this through the ends so that we can control that bend, so it'll hold that bend and have long lasting volume and shape all day. And then what will happen is we'll start getting the hair dry. So at home, what you would do is you would tilt your head forward and you would start drying that hair and get those roots lifted up off of the scalp so you can encourage some of that root lift. Okay, so we're back, we've got our hair finished. And what we've done is we actually blow dried it and then we went through and actually flat ironed it. So if you're confused about how to use the flat iron or the round brush or the, the styling process, at the very end of this video, I'm gonna link a playlist that you can watch where I walk through processes on how to do all of that stuff. Now, even if you always part your hair down one side, I would still say go the opposite direction, then go back and forth, because it's gonna help create a little bit more volume on that part line. One thing that I wouldn't recommend doing if you're trying to create volume in the crown or volume in the top is part it straight down the center. Because usually what ends up happening is then it dips in the center and you just have no hair in the center part to create volume through there. So part it down one side. You can see the minute I do this, it's so hard to see guys because I'm staying behind here. But then I, the minute I do that, we create more volume. But the second I take this and part it down the center, you can see that even it's got some lift, it still parts right here and this dips in a bit. So one way or the other. So one thing, if you've got shorter hair, I would say like bob length or even a little bit shorter, something like a clay or this particular clay from L'Oreal. If I was gonna use this, I would be using it to get a little bit of control out of the hair. I would take a little bit like this much, okay? If you can see this, about that much. And I would put it on my hands and I'd work it through my hands. And then I would work it through, I would work it through her hair mainly through the front where I want that little bit of extra control. And that's going to give me a little bit more control than I could spray that back if I was just trying to create more volume. So it helps me to get a little bit more texture in the hair, a little bit more movement, and a little bit more volume. But once you get it into place, this is one of my favorite sprays because it gives a nice amount of hold, but it's so light. Look at this, see if you can see this. It's like a mist. Now guys, I'm not so much worried about the overall look of everything, I'm worried about just trying to get more volume to kind of illustrate a point for you guys. So one of the things is like, let's say I want this back off her face, I can use them like this, I hold this can back here, right? Spray this back, right? I can get that to stay back off her face a little bit, right? We can get some control out of that. It's a very light spray, but it still gives me the control that I'm looking for. Now, I'm not a huge fan of super stiff hair because I think movement is important for youthfulness. But with that said, there is some benefit to being able to use a spray on your hair to hold stuff out of your face. And this is a great spray for that. Okay, so there's one more thing that I wanna show you that's super important and I guarantee 
most of you, it terrifies you. Texturizing or thinning. I know, it is a scary thing for somebody with fine hair, especially if you've got fine, thinner hair. But let me tell you, there is a way it can be done, and more than likely, if you've had a really bad experience with it, it's because it was done a certain way, which gave you all the problems that I went done with none of the benefits. Texturizing done correctly can actually be incredible on fine hair, even on fine thin hair. So let me show you the difference here so that you know what to look for and you know what's actually going on. This, right, if you look at that, that is a blunt line, okay? Reasonably blunt, not totally even, but it's a blunt line. The problem with this is when there's a really blunt line like this, the concern is that it's really heavy at the ends. And one, especially on fine hair, it can leave lines in your hair, so you'll see little lines of layering, which doesn't look good. But also, it can just be heavy and broken up, and you won't give you the amount of movement that you want. Correct texturizing, right, looks like this. You're just breaking up the very ends of that hair, not very far down the hair shaft, just the very ends of it. By breaking up just the very tips of your hair here, all you're doing is lightening that up just a little bit and you're breaking up this line a little bit. It's gonna allow it to blend better and it's overall gonna look nicer. However, it has not thinned out any of your hair. But a lot of times what happens is people go in and they thin. Now you've got these random pieces that are short, okay? These very short pieces and then you've got these longer pieces. Now you can already see that those longer pieces are just kind of starting to flop over, right? What's gonna happen now is your hair is going to act like it's that long. What's also gonna happen is these ends here, because they're so thin, they're not gonna hold any bend, they're not gonna hold any volume or shape, they're just gonna kind of flop over. So it's not to say that texturizing your hair won't work, it's to say that doing it the wrong way for your texture won't work. Okay, everybody, that's it. When it comes to adding volume to fine hair, those are the key things that we need to be paying attention to. So I hope that helps. If you got some value out of this, man, I would love you to subscribe to the channel. I'd love you to hit that notification bell so you get notified every Tuesday when I come out with a brand new video. And if you didn't, don't stress it. I don't want you subscribing until I've earned it. So uh, yeah, maybe next time, check out my next video. But hey, if you're curious about styling tips, actually how to functionally use the flat iron and the round brush and all that stuff, do not miss next screen. I'll have a link to that playlist. Got a lot of good info in there, a lot of good insight. Alrighty, and I appreciate you. I would love to hear any ideas that you have. What am I gonna call my tribe? Huh? What do you wanna be called? What are we gonna call ourselves? Let me know, comment below. And otherwise, eat well. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. That's weird. I shouldn't, weird.